So this one time, I I was really new and inexperienced and didn't know things that m- I think a majority of people that work in kitchens would call common sense. I had the task of I needed I needed cheese for my station. I was working pantry station, and we had the whole wheel of the Parmigiano cheese, and. I didn't know where my uh, where my ten inch chef knife was because that would have been perfect for the task. But I think I think I let the uh, prep cook use it. I'm like, you know, I'm one, I'm one of those people. It's like, oh, here, you know, you use that. I'll use like a house knife, you know, or something. Um, and the only thing they had was a sentoku knife. So I put. I put the knife on the edge of the wheel, and I, I start to rock, and I start to push down. I'm right-handed, so I'm holding the knife with the right hand, and I'm pressing down where the Santoku curves. I'm pressing down. And in my head, I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to cut half of this, flip it, and then cut the other half, and then boom. Cool. And then cut it into quarters, and then portion it out to whatever whatever I need it. <clears throat> that doesn't happen. My, my hand slips off the knife. The knife somehow, because it, it was stuck, and I started to like press, and I'm trying to like force it down, but my hand slips, and somehow the knife gets unstuck and just cuts my hand wide open in fact here's a picture just actually you know what i'm not going to show you the picture so not yet at least so i didn't realize i had cut myself at that moment Uh, it really just felt like imagine like something like thin like a knife like a piece of metal just hits the top of your hand it just feels like bruised a little tight nothing really to be alarmed about and so i go and i go to wash my hands my 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 kitchen rag i used it to like cover my hand i don't know why that was like my immediate instinct but i go to wash my hands and jesus dude the it was so much blood that rag had soaked up so much blood and i didn't walk any more than 10 feet it's just ridiculous the amount of blood that was coming out of that hand. I, I, I never saw what the wound looked like. When I was in the kitchen, it was just a pool of blood. And so I knew it was bad. And I go to my chef. I'm like, chef, uh, I cut myself. I think I have to leave. And she's fairly new. She was a pretty new chef there. And she's like, oh, okay, yeah, let, let, me, let me see. Let me see it. And... <laughs> she took like a step back. She's like, Jesus Christ. It's like, um, hey, we need to get this guy to the hospital. He really cut himself. And so the assistant general manager drives me to the hospital, which lucky for me was only like a block away. Takes me there. And by then I was, I definitely was feeling woozy for sure. You know, but I was chill. Like it didn't, it was throbbing but not like I couldn't handle it you know it was fine it was like a strong eight out of ten and so I call my wife I'm like hey I cut the top of my hand um I don't know what I said but I can tell you that that was not at all what my wife thought oh you know what she thought so if you look at your your index finger and your thumb there's that kind of like little webbing area that you have that's essentially what I described it as. I'm like, yeah, I just cut like, yeah, you know that area by your finger and your thumb? I cut that toe. She's like, okay, I'll be there. And I I never saw it. Like, I just didn't want to see it. Not because it was just gross. I just, my my focus was really like, I need to get back to work. I was still new enough that I was under this, I was buying into that whole, 
the kitchen surpasses everything. You know, like you've seen those memes, you know, you're like, it's flooding or, or you're deathly ill and the chef's like, okay, but you're still coming in, right? You know, like it's almost like sacrilegious, the idea of you missing a shift. I totally was buying into that shit. So in my head, I'm like, I, I can still stand on my feet. I can still think straight. And it's my left hand. I'm right hand dominant. Let's get me back to work. My wife's like, no, you're going to take, you know, I think it was Viking they were offering me, but I, ref- I, I didn't take any Vitakin. Um In fact, you know what, right here, I'm going to show you what it looks like. It's um, viewer discretion is advised. Pretty gross. Yeah, so what ended up happening is the only actual, and other than the actual cut itself, was I, I cut the tendon. And I actually had to wait a month to have my tendon reconnected to my thumb. It had, it, it's, it's like elastic, so it ended up like con- constricting back into my forearm. And I think I was out of work for an additional two months because I had to do physical therapy. I, I just couldn't. After, first I had to wait a month, then I had my surgery, and then I had to slowly stretch the reattached tendon back. But um, anyway, I get stitched up. I absolutely refuse the thought, the notion of going home taking care of myself, I was just, that, that was the mentality, I, I have to get back to work, and I did, you know, I went back, and it's not that hard, especially if you're working pantry, you can just, you can just hold, like, the bowl, and then you have your tongs in one hand, you know, uh, the next day, it was a Thursday, I remember, it was Thursday, and, yeah, I had told my, sh- after the shift was halfway done, I'm like, So today is the last day I'm going to be here. I need to, like, because halfway through service, I mean, shift the shift started, like, at 2.30. But at around 7 o'clock, I could just tell, like, you know what? There's no way I'm going to be able to do another day of this. Like, I've proven my point. And I think what I just wanted to prove was, like, that I'm the guy. A cut is not going to hold me back. So if I have to look, you know, so whenever I see someone calling out for some, you know, some ridiculous, petty reason, it's like, dude, like, I cut myself and I went back. That being said, as cool as that sounds, it's, it's kind of dumb. And I kind of hate that, that aspect about the kitchen. Like, I feel that we're very... It, it's almost like it's a very 90s kind of mentality because when I, when I say 90s, it's because I'm specifically thinking of someone like Gordon Ramsay, you know, this obsession. But I can't think of anyone great that wasn't obsessed, you know, so I, I felt I had to do that. Would I still do it? I don't know. Probably. Probably, I would definitely, yeah, you know what, I probably would do it again, but it's just, I don't think, look, if you're listening to this and you're like, I wouldn't do that, good for you, like really, like I don't, I'm I'm not going to see you as a less of a person, you know, there's, everyone in the kitchen is there for different reasons, and not everyone wants to be the chef, not everyone is up there like, you know, we love Gordon Ramsay. Not everyone is, I love Anthony Bourdain. It's, it's a, it's so diverse, you know, and it's just not fair to, for me, it doesn't seem right to pin, like, to put my expectations onto others. There's a certain standard that each kitchen has. Each kitchen has a standard And I think it's our responsibility to uphold that and to keep each other accountable. 
But someone like me say, like, I've been told before by chefs, oh, so wait, you can't come in that early. You know, I'll have to open up for brunch at 8 a.m., but I'm there at 7.30. But that's because I love what I do. I'm obsessed with it. I, like, I want to, if I could be there at 6, I would be there at 6. I would get everything ready for all the cooks just to literally show up, eat some family meal for breakfast, and let's get to work. But not everyone's like that. And that's okay. Some people just, you know what? That's the best they got. Some people, that's the end of the road. And if they fuck that up, that's it. You know? Um, some, you know, it's, it's, I love how diverse it is. But I don't think it's fair to be putting blankets or umbrellas over people. And, you know, that, that you have to be aware about where you're at too you know you don't go to like a thomas keller restaurant in alinea and then come you know you're going to be expected to do just you know you got to look a certain way you got to behave a certain way you got you know a different set of standards than if you're at your local diner you know but you should always try to strive to be better like if Yesterday, the only easy day was yesterday. That's it. Today, try to be be better. And you're going to fuck up. And that's okay. If you're not fucking up, you're not doing nothing, dude. Um, but yeah, you know what? That's the story of how I cut my hand open. You know, it's kind of funny. <clears throat> A lot of cooks, I see, so you, you see so many cooks with the, with the chef knife tattoo. And that's cool. I don't have any tattoos myself. I'm one of the few people that just, it's not for me. I love it. I could spend hours looking at tattoos, but then when it comes down to it, I wouldn't want one. And I look at my, my hand and the way the scar looks now and everything. And you know what? Yeah, I would, I, I, I'll take this scar over a fucking chef knife tattoo any day. It feels like It feels more legit. You know what I mean? I'm not putting you down for your tattoos. Not at all. Your tattoos are cool as shit, dude. But there's just something pretty cool about a scar. You know? There's a line by this band, Lower Class Brats. Something about, like, chick sticking scars. (laughs) Whatever, man. My wife doesn't think think it's so cool. No. Anyway. um, Thanks for watching. Like. Subscribe. If you didn't like it, that's cool too, you know, uh, comment, maybe we can do like a line check, you know, you always clock in, you got to do a line check, you got to check if your station's stocked up, you know, down in the comments below, line check, you know, where are you from, what station you work, uh, are you a line cook, what are you, a, a junior sous chef, a lead line, sous chef, chef, what's going on guys, anyway, this is... A whole name Sway, signing out.